This video is about a problem that's not officially an old actuarial exam problem, but is of the type that I think it certainly could be. 3.2.4 in Broverman will be finding the time when an outstanding loan balance first falls below half of the original loan amount. It's kind of interesting. It's a five-year loan made at a certain date here, amortized with 60 level monthly payments starting at this date, and the nominal annual interest rate compounded monthly is 12%. Find the date, so that would be a certain day and a certain year, on which the outstanding balance first falls below one half the original loan amount. Now we don't know the loan amount. We could call it L. Um, it really won't matter what L is, we'll see. The basic idea about what L is in relation to the payback scheme is that its value at time zero, which would be July 1st, 2014, would be the present value of all the payments. They're starting one month from when the loan is made, so those payments form an annuity immediate. If the payment level of payment amount is K, then L would be K times A. It's a five-year loan each month, so you've got 60 months, and if the annual interest rate is 12% compounded monthly, that means the monthly interest rate is 1%. So no matter what L and K are, there's got to be this relationship between them. And we can certainly find out what A is. So the monthly interest rate is 1%, take 1.01, .01, take its reciprocal to get V, the monthly V, discount factor, raise that to the 60th power, subtract from 1, divide by 0 0.01, the monthly interest rate, the present value here, this A, is 44.955-03841. K times that is the loan amount. Another way of saying that is that K is L times the reciprocal of this thing. Take its reciprocal. K is 0 0.022244445 times L when you have this kind of payback scheme, 60 payments worth a periodic interest rate of 1%. All right, uh, so when can we figure out um, what time it will take until the balance is half of L? The outstanding balance in general can be found either with the prospective or retrospective methods. I think it'll be simpler to think prospective here, to think of this as the uh, present value of all the remaining payments. The payments are K. You have to multiply that by A with 1%. What, how many remaining payments are there? If there are T, t payments that have occurred so far, then 60 minus T is the number of payments that remain. And we want to find the value of T when this first is just less than 0.5L. What value of t will make this just less than 0.5L for the first time? Well, if we replace k by 0 0.022244445L, we indeed see that the value of L doesn't matter because it cancels from both sides. And what we're left with, if you think about it, it's going to be an exponential equation with unknown t here, and we can maybe solve that exponential equation with logarithms, and in fact we can. 0.5 will be 0 0.022244445. Think about the formula for a. It's 1 minus v to this power, 60 minus t power, divided by that number, 0 0.01. This divided by 0 0.01 is going to be 2.224445. Now divide both sides by that. There it is, divide both sides by that. Multiply by 0.5, and on the left side you get 0.22477519. Solve for V to the 60 minus T, so add that to both sides and subtract this 0.22. 477519 from both sides. Looks like V to the 60 minus T is 0.77522481. Now take the log of both sides. 
60 minus t after using properties of logs is going to be the natural log of 0.775222481 divided by the natural log of v. Let's find the natural log of this thing here first. It's negative, don't worry about that. The uh, natural log of v is going to be negative as well. Let me store this in register 0. What is v? It's 1.01 .01 is 1 plus i. Take its reciprocal to get v. Take the natural log of that. There it is. I need to divide this by that so I can take the reciprocal of this and multiply by what was in register 0. It looks like 60 minus t is about 25.6. Therefore, t itself is about 35.4. And therefore, um, oops, mistake there, 34.4. And therefore, since uh, payments are made uh, at whole integer months, the first time when the balance is below, when OB is below 0.5L is T equals 35. These are monthly payments, so that's 35 months. Uh, the the loan was made on this date, so we need to think 35 months in the future. 36 months would be three years, so 35 months will be one month short of three years. The final answer is going to be June 1st, 2017, would be 35 months after this when the loan balance finally goes below half of the original. It's kind of interesting. Uh, it happens to be June 11, 2017 when I'm making this video. so. That was just kind of a unique coincidence.